Hello everyone, this is Arohi and welcome to my channel. So guys, in this video, I'll show you how to perform image segmentation on custom data set using YOLO V8. So let's start with the data set. Okay, so the data set which I'm using is in this folder, custom data set. Let's open it and inside it, we have three folders, train, valid and test. Okay and let's open the train folder and then we have images and labels folder inside images you will have all the images so guys for today's class i am having two classes keyboard class and a mouse class okay so we'll perform image segmentation for this class on t uh, this keyboard and mouse okay so in my images folder you can see that i have total 80 images 40 images are of keyboards and 40 images are of uh, mouse okay and then in this labels folder, I have a labels annotations in the text format. And for every image, there is one annotation file, which is in text format. Let's open one and you can see. So this is the class name and these are the image segmentation annotations of that file. And guys, for these annotations, I have used a polygon tool. Okay. So after that uh, polygon shape i have used for this annotation and this is how you can see we have 80 labels because we have 80 images and for each image there is one label okay in the same way if you'll open valid folder you will have images and labels and in test folder also images and labels so in my valid folder validation folder i have 10 images and the same way in my test folder also i have 10 images so guys i'm i have prepared this small data set so just for the demo purpose so if you want to uh you know have um a model which you can use in a you know a real problems then you need to prepare your data set properly you should have uh, more number of images right so in my case i'm just using this much uh, data for demo purpose all right so now then we have this data.yaml file all right so i have that file over here custom underscore data.yaml let's open this file and see so now you can see here here we have given the path till images of train folder and inside this val we have the images path till well, uh, images folder and then test this is the path and we have how many number of classes of uh, number of classes we have two and these are the name of do, those two classes okay this is my data set now next thing is okay so now you know about this folder this is a custom data set and then you know about this file this file is our yml file in which we have mentioned all the parts of our data set and how many classes we have and what are the names of those classes all right so after that this and this this is the pre-trained model which is trained on coco data set so that's what i have uh, used over here you can download it from the github repo of uh, this um, yolo v8 okay and so this is the file let me open this file and show you so in this file this is our configuration file and over here i have only change this line n c means number of classes equals to two because in our uh, case we have two classes okay so after that you can see this test underscore data folder this is the folder in this folder i have some random images so in uh, on these images i'll perform the testing once uh, i'll train my model after training i'll perform testing on these images okay so this is for that and then finally let's see this jupyter notebook and which i have written the commands to train the model and then we are testing the model okay so let's start so my code is here okay so you can see here what i'm doing is just see these these lines okay with these lines i'm training the model so we are importing the yolo and then what we are doing is if you want to build your model from scratch then this is how you can do so remember this file this is the file which i have just shown you this file right 
number of classes to rest of the uh, data is same and you can get this data from the ultralytics um, github repo uh, otherwise i'll share in my github repo also so link is given in description section you can take it from there okay so this is the path of that yaml file if you want to build your model from scratch okay and you can see here this line i have commented this line so what this means is if you want to use a pre-trained model right and then you want to train the model on that means you want to do the transfer learning then you can use this line okay but in my case i want to build my model from the scratch so that's why i have commented it out and then in this line i am passing all the arguments like model dot train we want to which mode we are using train mode so remember there are three modes in yolo v8 train right and then val and the third one is detect okay so uh, predictions so we are training our model over here so that's why i've used train and then over here you are providing the path or the name of the yaml file in which you have given all the details this one this file okay you're giving the path of this file and just because of this file only your algorithm will be able to know like where your data set is how many classes are there and what are the name of those classes so this is that file and for how many epochs you want to train you can write here by default it's 100 epoch and if you want to train it for more epochs you can um, uh, you know change it over here workers equals to one i'm using and batch size is eight and image size is this so after that i have started the training and you can see that after okay some after the 200 epochs the results got stored over here you will get this runs folder once you start the training after that you will get this runs folder okay inside this runs folder you'll get a segment folder because we are performing a image segmentation task that's why you will get the segment folder inside it you will get a train folder right and when you open that train folder you will see the weights over here we will use the best dot pt uh, weights to perform the uh, predictions okay and you can see the other things confusion matrix also keyboard mouse and then background so guys you can see the results are not very good because we um, we just provided uh, 40 images for uh, mouse and 40 images for keyboard and we and then we uh, didn't perform anything to work on background right so that's why our confusion matrix is not so good and our results are not very good okay so you can see the results here right and then let's see the validations prediction so these are the predictions uh, these are the results of our model on the validation data okay so you can see the results are not very good again you need to increase the data set you need to change you need to you know tune the hyperparameters to improve the results even you can use data augmentation and in my case i have i am just um working on those 80 images to train my model so that's why the results are not very good okay so you can see this kind of folder you will get for training now let's perform the testing so for testing what i'm doing is here you can see see guys for training what i have done is i'm using the python uh, python way to train the model and guys if you have watched my first video in that video i have explained you that you can use yolo v8 in two ways like one is from your command prompt or your terminal and the other way is using this python uh, python code okay so i have shown you how to train your model uh, uh, in a pythonic way now i'm showing you how to test your model and this time i'm using a command line um, command okay so you can see yolo then we are defining a task task is segment okay so because we are performing image segmentation and mode is predict this time because we want to make the predictions now earlier which mode we have used train because we want to train this time we want to predict so that's why the mode is predict and then in this model you will give the 
path of the model which you have trained just now so you can see inside a run segment train weights we have best.pt so we are using that and in this source this is the folder name remember we have one folder test data inside this we have some images and one video so this is the folder name we are providing here right and when you'll execute it you will see like this and finally you will see the results stored in um, the runs folder okay now let's see the results okay runs segment and then predict two let's see the predictions and see this is one of the output this is the second image this is the third image and this is the fourth image and after that this is a video uh, over here the results are very bad guys again you have to work on the hyperparameters epochs and your data set and you can do augmentation to improve the results and so this is how this image segmentation uh, works the only thing is you have to take care of your data set you need to annotate the data set image segmentation data set in the format which yolo accepts and yolo accepts the annotation files in the format of txt files okay so uh, when uh, and you can use while annotating the shape which you'll use is a polygon shape okay so and you will get the once your data set is ready, you can simply train using these commands and you can test like this. And guys, let's suppose now if you if you don't want to test uh, on the all the files which are there in a folder, then what you can do is you can just write the name like this. OK, just like this. See, source is equal to from test data folder. You want to work on this image you want to do the predictions on this image you can do like this and if you want to um, perform the prediction on a video then inside a source you can give the video name over here and if you want to work on a web camera then you can provide zero as a source okay so uh, this is how you can um, provide different kind of sources to your yolo v8 and you will get your results and that's it guys i'll share this um, uh, code in my uh, github repo and the link is given in description section you can get it from that and i hope this video is helpful so guys if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you for watching